Our next guest is certainly no stranger to television. He has appeared on Masters of Illusion, Penn and Teller, Foolish, and America's Got Talent. He's been named the APCA's Magician of the Year. Would you please welcome Master Illusionist Joseph Rayom? Joseph, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, you're going to show us some stuff. Yeah. You're not going to make me disappear. Nope, not going to do that. I Good. Do. Try. I know Trey wanted you to do, but yeah. you're not I'm going sorry. to. Okay. <laughs> so I, what I'm about to show you, I've actually been working on since I was five years old. No kidding. Yeah, this started out with a game we all know okay. called Tic Tac Toe. I know how to play that. <laughs> I do. Yeah, now Tic Tac Toe was my favorite game to play because it gave me an opportunity to see how people think, especially when under a little pressure. Yeah. And because I'm, I would, I'd love to challenge you to a game of tic-tac-toe, and because I'm challenging you, I'll... I'm up to it. Okay, good. And I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll start. Okay. And uh, I'll, that leaves you a free choice to put your first X anywhere you'd like to go. Where would you like to put it? I'll, I'll place it, but you had to... Uh, let's put it right there. Bottom right uh, corner yep. right there. Okay. Perfect. I'll put the next one. How about right here? Okay. Where would you like to put your right next X? Right there. Okay, see what you did there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then I'll put my next one, how about right here? I figured you would. <laughs> You've got a, where would you like to put your next one? Let's go right there. Right here. Oh no, let's put it right there. <laughs> Thank you, audience. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a while. You only Thank get you. that once. Now here we go, I'll put mine, uh, how about right? Kidding. That goes there. Uh, you've got one more, where would you like to put it? Well, it would seem it needs to go there. Okay. Yeah. And then let's do one more. Right okay. here. This is the last one I could do. Yeah. And this is a cat's game, a scratch yes. game. Nobody wins. Yeah. But I said I played this a lot. Yeah. I played this so much that I could predict every move my opponent would make. And this actually is the exact game I was hoping you and I would play. Really? Yes. Another thing I loved to do when I was a little boy is I loved to draw. I would draw on everything. And when I ran out of paper, I would draw on the table, the walls, the windows. <laughs> but instead of getting in trouble, my father was the artist type and he gave me a gift. He gave me a sketch pad. He said, Joseph, yeah. you put your drawings in here and they'll last forever. Draw on the table, the walls, and the windows again, you will not. And you won't last forever either <laughs> exactly. if you do that, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, parents can say that in the 80s. My favorite thing to draw, superheroes. Ah, This cool. is the first, I drew that. It's the first one I drew. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Governor, notice I have a page number one. Yeah. Well, I wanted to make my first comic book. So I drew 15 of my favorite comic book characters. Okay. Now we already know page number one is Superman, so please, I'd love you to choose any page between two and 15. Where are we going? Let's do 13. 13, you yeah. got it. So I'll flip through them, I'll show you what you could have. Do you want to change your mind before I go through these? No, 13. Cool, you're going to keep the mind you like. Okay, good. Yeah. We've got two would have been Wolverine, uh, three would have been Joker, four, if you would have picked that, would have been Wonder Woman. I might have picked her. <laughs> if you would have picked five, that would have been Iron Man. Iron. You missed some good ones in there. Six, Captain America. If you would have done seven, a lot of people picked seven, but that would have been Storm. Uh, eight is Thor. If you would have done number nine, number nine was Aquaman, remember him. Number 10, ooh, Spider-Man. Uh, uh, which one you said? You said 13. 13. Yeah. Uh, we've got number 12 is The Flash, and uh -huh. you said 13. Yes. Page number 13, The Incredible Hulk. Of course it is. Uh, that, he's a good character. I love The Incredible Hulk. Yeah. But here's what's crazy about what just happened. Yeah. There are 288,165 combinations of play tic-tac-toe. We played that game. If you would have made one real wrong move, what I'm about to show you would never work. You could have chose any of my comic book characters. You saw a lot in there, but you chose Incredible Hulk and you did not want to change your mind. Right. Do you guys remember I said earlier, I used to draw on everything. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that is do. crazy. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. Isn't that fun? And if the audience hadn't saved me, we would not have had this work out like that. that is, no, that would have been a real problem. That is, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, we have food. Yeah, we brought, I brought uh, snacks. Okay. <laughs> so this next thing I want to show you, um, here, I'll, if we, I'll, we'll scoot down a little bit. I'll okay. Over. So the next thing I want to show you is going to look like a card trick, but it's not a card trick. Okay. Now it's going to look like it at first, and I am using a deck of cards. Now it's very important, like a card trick, it's very important that you know that all of the cards are different, not a whole bunch of aces. Yeah. They're all different, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do they look fairly mixed? They do. Cool. Uh, all I need you to do is put your finger on any card. Do you want to change your mind? Nope. Right there, That's make it. sure I don't do anything sneaky with it. Oh, let me get, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, no, no, I want you to take it. All right. Now, usually, 
and a card trick. The spectator picks a card, and they put it in the deck. The magician does all these fancy shuffles and cuts, and then I'm supposed to find the card in a mysterious, magical way. I'm gonna try to save you guys a lot of time. Okay, do I look at that yet? It's a ton of clubs. Oh, okay. But don't worry, it's not a regular card trick. This is an illusion. Have you ever seen an illusion where a magician takes a card, tears it in half, then slowly tears it again in other pieces, having four corners, then takes that card and melts it right back together? I don't know how to do that one, so I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> we're ah. hold that. What do you got there? Hold on to that. Okay. The other three pieces will go right here. We'll get to those in a minute. All right. Now, when I was a young teen, I used to compete against other magicians, and it was terrifying because my audience, instead of being what we call laymen or muggles, they were, <laughs> we had magicians. Yeah. It was nerve-wracking. So I found that the best magic for me is simple magic. And when I say simple, I don't mean technically, because what I'm about to show you might be the most difficult thing I've ever created. But it's done with something as simple as a grapefruit, a lemon, an egg, we won't throw that. Huh. And your torn up 10 of clubs. Yes. We'll start with the card. The card goes right here. Then the okay. egg. The egg goes there. <laughs> watch the egg and watch the card pieces. Okay. Whoa. Didn't feel like that a while ago. <laughs> now, thank you. I didn't want anybody thinking I palmed the egg out. So yeah. I had to change it up. I had to do something a little more difficult and up my game a little bit. So that's where I came up with something with a lemon because the lemon is very bright. It's easy to see. It's also a lot bigger than an egg, so it's mm -hmm. really easy to palm, uh, not palm, like the egg might be easy to palm. Now I want you to do me a favor, Governor. Okay. Feel the top of the lemon right there. Just feel that. You feel that? Yeah. Watch the lemon. It's not there. It was there. It Thanks. was there. <laughs> now, I didn't want anybody thinking it went up my sleeves. So I wear sleeves practically painted on. I didn't want people thinking it went up my jacket. So I make sure I can show my jacket free. True. But I didn't want people thinking they knew how it was done. So I came up with something absolutely impossible. And that's where the grapefruit comes into play because it's way too big to palm. It won't fit up my sleeves. I'll cover it. Check this out. You can still see the grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor. Whip the cloth away. <laughs> you know, my father, I talked about him earlier, he taught me a lot of important lessons. Yeah. When he said that professionals and amateurs, they all make the exact same mistakes, but a professional knows how to cover up his mistakes. It gets real quiet when I bring one of these out. Yes, it does. It's a, it's a ballast song knife, aka the butterfly knife, and I, I travel a lot. Uh, last year alone, I was on 103 flights, 22 countries, and sometimes I forget to put this in my checked luggage. I go up to TSA and I'm like, hey guys, hello, butterfly knife. <laughs> They're like, sir, we're not concerned about that. We're looking for water and big toothpaste. Move on. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you this really quick. Inside the grapefruit uh, is a lemon. But I saw it. It was. Please make sure there is nothing falling behind no. my hand. But I'm just and there's no that. scar tissue on the lemon. But inside the lemon. Get out of here. Get out. It's an egg. Whoa. That's important. You know I am not following anything. It is just the egg. Come a little bit closer. You're going to see okay. this before they do. Let me move this over here. Yeah, right here. Watch right. the egg. Make sure I've got nothing else in my hand, just the egg. Nothing. It's a real egg. And inside, do you see that? <laughs> I see that, but what inside, I'm seeing is, no way. The egg is a torn up card. Now, have you ever seen the illusion where a magician takes a torn up card and slowly melts it right back together? But Governor, I am missing one corner. That corner you've been holding the entire time is a perfect map. That is absolutely amazing. This is an incredible magician. And if you want to see more of the amazing magic from Joseph Rayom, or if you want to follow him on social media, I got a better idea. Book him for your next event. He will amaze you. Uh, here's what you do. Visit Huckabee.tv and we will connect you to Joseph. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.